Oh my gosh! Getting a flat and having no replacement for it? Forgetting my gloves when going to such a cold place? Getting caught in a snowstorm in a village that's pretty much deserted save for one person? How curious. No, 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 not that type of seeking. I'm thrilling, sir. Wait, no. Maybe I can escape through the window? <gasps> Do it! <laughs> Here goes! Yeah! <laughs> Dive straight into it. Oh. My. Gosh. Fruit salad! Cross my heart and hope to die. You better be hoping to die. No! Kuro, don't be like that. I'm super sensitive to people who have sad backstories. See you later. <laughs> Welcome back to my masquerader. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Para, your host, and today we're going to be playing Where Winter Crows Go. I know I'm supposed to be finishing Blackout Hospital, but I really wanted to get to this game because I feel like every single time I was going to play it and record it, I just kept, something else kept popping up. So I just want to like quickly get this one out of the way because it has been drawing my attention. Hey there, Snowflake. Before we begin the story, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. What are your preferred pronouns? Uh, she, her. Excellent. And what is your name? Aspen? I'm sorry. That's probably like a really good name. It really is. Like, a, But I read it like as, you know, and then pen. <laughs> it's the way you say it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we said we were going to name all the characters from Psycho Dates Paradox now so that we go confused because I'm host Para. Paradox. I like it. Can't wait to meet you. Cool. Yeah, thank you. How nice. How considerate. The road is quiet. No real sound can be heard except for the humming of my four-wheeled companion. No sign from any other cars in hours, not even a motorbike. The frosty air is so prominent, I can feel it pierce through the window's glass. Bless whoever invented car heaters. <sighs> I don't even know why I suddenly grabbed my backpack for a one-week trip to a frost-peaked town. I mean, I know it's supposedly famous for skiing or whatever, but it's literally in the middle of nowhere. What am I? A teenager hungry for a thrill? Who am I kidding? I know exactly why I'm doing this. Ah, oh, oh my goodness. Beep my work. Beep my boss. Beep society. Ah, oh, so you just need an escape, eh? They can burn each other out for all I care. I'm not usually this impulsive, but winter sports might be just what I need to take my mind off things. Yeah, I don't think so. I think you need a random dude in the middle of nowhere to take your mind off things. You know, really make you start appreciating your boss, your work, your society, you know? And no one's going to take me away from my well-earned break. No one. What the hell? In the middle of my venting session, a crow flies right in front of the windshield. Ah! Oh. Although I nearly lost control, I managed to get a firm hold of the steering wheel. Damn, bird! Is this a sue- <laughs> Is this a sue- <laughs> freaking bird be like, TAKE THAT! <laughs> Is this suicidal or what? It nearly killed me! Whatever, I'll just- Huh? The car seems weirdly off balance all of a sudden. Really? Now? Here? Uh. Uh. Can't curse! Into regulations! Gosh damn, Herbie. You're looking a little flat over there. And your parent is so responsible that she forgot to bring you a spare tire. I take my phone from my pants pocket. I'm so sorry, Herbie. I was very confused. I was like, who the heck is she talking to? Who's Herbie? <laughs> no reception. Of course. Yeah, it's the middle of nowhere. No one is going to take away your well and break her paradox. Whales. <coughs> Crow just <coughs> dead. I kicked the snow. <sighs> As much as complaining feels good to get your frustrations out of your chest, it's not going to solve anything. Time to explore the wondrous world of Winter Wonderland. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that wonderful place. Right. Now, where would I go if my car had a problem? A gas station. Yeah, if only. There's literally nothing here. Nothing but snow and big... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Frost Peak Town should be somewhere around this area, though. I just need to keep walking. At least the view is pretty. It is. Cold. Probably die of hyperthermia, but, you know. Pretty, pretty. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's really pretty. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Well, the tree's changed. 
I guess that's some progress. The others were pines, right? Not sure about these, though. But still, how come I haven't seen a single person or animal throughout my entire hike? Don't bears usually live here? Not that I want to meet one. Is it me or is it getting colder? Guess I'll keep walking. Yeah, you know, you're, you're starting to die of hypothermia. Oh yeah, this one's nope. not greater. Okay, nah. It's definitely colder now. My hands feel like ice cubes and, of course, I had to forget my gloves. Ugh. What? What is this? Light? Heaven, is that you? Take me from this freezing plane! Whoa! Sure enough, the freezing weather brings out the first snowflakes of the day. They fall slowly yet relentlessly, and I can't resist the urge to catch a few in my tongue. I wish they tasted like something. Usually I don't mind snow. It's undeniable that the tiny ice crystals are very pretty, especially when it's sunny. It's as if everything is glistening. Not to mention, snow has a strange way of making you feel nostalgic, even if you've never seen it before. Yep, I definitely don't mind it. You could even say I like it. When I know I'm not at a risk of getting hypothermia, that is. What next? A snowstorm? <laughs> you gotta say <laughs> What's next? A human gonna come out of the forest? <laughs> Great. Yeah, good job, Paradox. You're just the biggest jinxer in the world. Oh, I hope nothing stops my trip. Kaka! Oh, I hope a, a giant snowstorm doesn't come. Is that a log cabin? Maybe whoever lives in there can help me. Or not. I'm having such <laughs> luck today that I wouldn't be surprised if it was abandoned. Or reciting a serial killer. You don't know. I bet it can protect me from the storm, though. I hope. Oh, there's lights in there, though. Never mind. I don't want to be alone in the cold. Let me see another human being. Take me. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone in there? Please, I need help. No answer. Yeah, nobody's home. Go away. Maybe they didn't hear me? Maybe they didn't want your jinx mouth anywhere, huh? My car got a flat tire and I have nowhere to go. Can you help me? Please? My hands are numb and I've turned a deep shade of purple. Wow, I'm really gonna die of hypothermia. My body's shivering so violently I can barely stand. <coughs> so cold! <laughs> That's me, <laughs> winter man. <laughs> the front door starts unlocking. Ha Wait, what? Day one. Did I, did I pass out? Or did he knock me the heck out? <sighs> huh? Where am I? I wake up in an unfamiliar room. Is this inside the log cabin? Did I pass out? Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, how, how dare he hit me first, first time we even, we even meet, okay? Let me just like build up some drama here, jeez. I must have passed out. I wonder what time it is. Did I sleep the whole night? Out of habit, I touch my pants pocket to take out my phone. What the? Only to find I'm wearing an entirely new outfit. Huh? I guess whoever helped me must have changed my clothes. Wow. Wow. What? So nice. They even bandaged my hands? I should go find them. You should. Thank you. Konnichiwa. The hospitality. Wow. This cabin is bigger than it looks. How many rooms does it even have? The door at the far back must be the entrance. I hear a bit of noise from the room on the right. Is that where the person who helped me is? Then again, I don't know who they are. What if it's someone dangerous? They actually change your clothes. The fact that they didn't do anything while they were changing your clothes is extremely surprising. Well, not like I have the keys anyway. I should at least meet them before drawing any conclusions. Also, they did help me, so they can't be that bad. Horror game MCs must be rubbing off on me. Horror game main characters? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yes, every other main character is just like you. When I enter the room, I find myself in a small yet cozy kitchen. And then I see him. Oh, he's so tiny! Is it because he's really far away? He's really tiny! A green-haired man, who appears to be in his late 20s to early 30s, wearing a lab coat and washing the dishes. That's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> sorry. No, no, it's no, it's me. Sorry. No, sorry. Did, did you hear something? Wait, hold on. I didn't think this game had uh, voice acting, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I said that out loud. And now he's staring at me. Uh, abort! Abort mission! Maybe I can escape through the window? <gasps> oh, hey. 
you woke up. The man either chooses to ignore my slip or doesn't really care. After removing his clean gloves, he takes a few steps in my way. Is he gonna get closer? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you were kind of- Are you naturally this short or is it just like the position? Because I'm a, I'm a beast. Dang, I'm- oh. He flops right in front of me. I was actually about to check up on you after cleaning up. How do you feel? Uh, I feel like I really like your man bun, am I right? <laughs> what kind of color green is that? Because you, uh, you were up the sp spring in my heart. Wait a minute. Yeah, um, I'm fine, but you shouldn't have changed my clothes. I probably have died. I'm feeling- I don't, I'm okay. All things considered. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm perfectly fine. Like, oh, I'm fine. I just came out of like a Mickey Mouse story and everything's fine. And we're all Disney princesses here, am I right? Pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough in my book. It was quite a close call, wasn't it? <sighs> you can say that again. Thank you for helping me. Of course. Uh, but by the way, uh, I'm sorry about changing your clothes without permission. It was kind of an emergency since you were dying of hyperthermia. Yeah, I get it. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, you did what you had to do in that kind of situation. If anything, I'm actually really grateful because otherwise I would have probably gotten hyperthermia. Or worse. Much worse. The man gives a sigh of relief. Thank goodness. I can't believe he was worried about what I was going to think when his actions literally saved my life. He's kind of cute, not going to lie. If you don't mind my asking, can you tell me what happened? How did you get caught up in a storm s snowstorm? Oh, right. What can I say? A ah! bro scared the hell out of me where I was driving my car and got a flight tire as a result. Uh. I, I, I see. That's quite unfortunate. You don't believe me. You don't believe me? I know. It's a cro- I don't, I don't believe it either. Did I say something weird? Um, anyway. I thought I'd ask for help, but you're literally the first person I've seen in this whole area. Which reminds me. I don't think we've introduced ourselves yet, right? True. Does he need to pee or something? Why is he suddenly so nervous? No, I'm getting nervous. Dude, what the- Calm down! I, I better get introductions out of the way. I'm Paradox. Oh, what a pretty name. Oh, thank you. I'm Crow. Can you hear that? I hope so. Ah! <laughs> I get it. I get it. Because a crow crashed it. Wait, did you crash into my freaking car on purpose, dude? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you made that weird face. But don't worry. I only meant the animal. Besides, I doubt anyone who has a job that requires wearing a lab coat is actually stupid. Well, mostly anyways. Not that he needs to know that. I know, I know, I just wasn't expecting to hear my name in that kind of manner. <laughs> That's so awkward. Yeah, I was kind of stuck in a paradox. Oh, my name's Paradox. Uh oh, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I bet. In any case, it's nice to meet you, Crow. <laughs> With an E. The pleasure is all mine. This guy's so nice. I wonder if he could tell me how far I am from Frost Peak Town. Wouldn't be good to overstay my welcome after all. Can I ask you something? Ah, where are my manners? I still haven't offered you anything to drink! Oh, no, it's okay, I don't want to impo- uh. Nonsense! I finally have guests after all! I've been so lonely! Finally? I'll go ahead and prepare some chaga- chaga tea! Ooh, what the heck? It's very good for cold weather. I should research up some chaga tea! Hold on, let me get it! I hope this is a real tea and I'm not gonna search it up and it's gonna be like some meme or something. Th thank you! I have no idea what Chaga is, but he seems to know what he's talking about, so... Would you like something to eat as well? Don't be shy now. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Uh... I, I mean, if I need to fight you later, I, I guess so. <laughs> it's been so long since I cooked for someone. Is there anything you can't eat? Uh... Yeah, I'm... F oh, actually I am vegan. Oh, I'm vegan. Alrighty. Oh, thank you, sir. That is the first game we bumped into that has actually asked me if I didn't want eggs for breakfast. Ah! Why don't you wait for me in the living room? It's right next to the kitchen. This place even has a living room? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. This place is fantastic. Can I live here forever and ever? I probably will <laughs> be living here forever and ever. Wow. Crow sure has a lot of books. I wonder if he's some kind of scientist. 
He looks the part, at least. It's pretty cozy, too. Kind of surreal knowing how cold it is outside. After awkwardly wandering about the room for a couple of minutes, I decide to sit on one of the couches. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Lift my butt and throw myself on the couch a few more times for good measure. So comfy! I should remember to ask Crow where he buys his cushions! <laughs> the carpet looks really inviting, too. Should I take off my boots and feel the floor- the fiber texture under my feet? No, why don't you just start rolling around in it while you're at it, you know? We'll just be like real weirdos in this freaking house. Do it! Uh, do it! <laughs> Here goes! Yeah! <laughs> Dive straight into it. It's so soft! Man, they all buy one for my house. Having fun? <laughs> you saw nothing. Crow smirks at me while holding a tray with a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not mad. Quite the opposite, in fact. It makes me happy that you feel right at home. All right, here you go. Thank you. Oh my gosh, fruit salad. I quickly pick up my fork and give it a taste. Where the hell do you find fruit in the middle of winter? Mmm. The juicy and sweet combination of the fruit sends me right to heaven. So, go. Several compliments spit out of my mouth before I even finish swallowing. I can't help it, it's f***ing amazing. I mean, you're missing some yogurt, maybe some ice cream, you know, anything like that. <laughs> Looks like someone was hungry. Ugh, that's embarrassing, what am I, a kid? Sorry about that, got to pick up and I'm manly. <coughs> I'm manly, I just- I'm not bit too excited. Nothing to be sorry about, I'm happy you liked it so much. Don't forget the chaga tea, though. It'll warm me right up. Thank you for the chaga tea. I'm a chugga chugga, you know what I mean? Down that tea. I take the mug of chugga tea and rest my cheek on the brown ceramic. It's warm and has an earthy aroma. I never had chugga tea before, but it doesn't smell like anything I've ever tasted. What herb or fruit does it come from? Mm. Curious, aren't we? Chugga is a type of mushroom that grows on the bark of birch trees. It's a little hard to find, and you need to be careful not to confuse it with dead chugga, but it's worth the search since it's very good for you. Wow, that's kind of cool. Right? Nature is amazing. Nature is amazing. I wish I could match your voice, right? Nature is amazing. <laughs> I just sound like a female again. It sure is. When it's not trying to kill you, that is. But I don't want to dampen the mood. He looks too happy. Yeah, actually, I hate nature. I distract myself by taking a sip of tea, but almost choke at the unexpected taste. <laughs> Bitter. Uh, Whoops! I forgot to mention that. Here. Here. Got some sugar, snowflake. Snowflake. Yeah. You know what? You know what? He needs one too. Thanks, Jewel. Wait. <laughs> That's what we're gonna name him. Yeah, dude. Don't ask. Don't ask. You look like a jewel. I. I don't know. Okay. That's a good. That's a new one. No, no problem. I guess he wasn't expecting that. I mean, you shouldn't come at me and not expect me to bite back. You bite me, I bark back, all right? Kurt doesn't seem to mind, though. He even looks happy. He's been so lonely. Oh, cute. I had two tablespoons of sugar and stir. Jeez. Now it's just bitter sugar. Better? A lot, thank you. Maybe the bitter taste will grow on you with time. Haha, <laughs> who knows? I wonder if the natural food store near home sells chaga tea. Which reminds me. Are you a nature scientist, Crow? Hmm. Oh, curious about me, aren't we? Do you say that about everything I say? Curious, aren't you? Yes, you're a professor. I think you should know. It's scientists looking ah! You should know what it's like to be curious. Maybe. <laughs> I like your honesty. Something like that. I prefer to call myself an environmental researcher. Environmental. That's the word I couldn't say the other day. So, a nature scientist. Biologist? Is that what it is? Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you have anything you specialize in? Well, nature is pretty vast, so I study a bit of everything. Plants, animals, ecosystems. So, a biologist, yeah. But right now, I'm researching partial migration in certain animals. Okay. Partial? Your face tells me you have more questions. You got me. Partial migration is just like the name suggests. It's a phenomenon that only some individuals of a certain species move from one region to another while the rest stay put. I see. Kind of like when some birds migrate because of winter? <laughs> yep, 
Yes, exactly! For some reason, the animals who don't migrate during winter tend to be the same as the ones who don't migrate the following year and so forth. That's intriguing, isn't it? It really makes you want to know why. Perhaps it's a bit ironic, but I'm actually focusing on crows right now. <laughs> Freaking focusing on your namesake, weirdo. Well, what can I say? It fits you to the T. <laughs> I better do the research justice then. It makes me wonder, was the crow I saw on the road a partial migrator or not? Hmm. But enough about me. Why don't you tell me more about yourself? Mm, promise you're not gonna laugh. Cross my heart and hope to die. You better be hoping to die. <laughs> okay, okay. To be honest, I needed a break. My job back home is really stressful, to say the least. And I don't know when the last time I took a holiday was. A real holiday. Not just a day off, you know? I start to fidget with my fingers. Work's always like, this is urgent, or I need you to be online. Or Jerry beat up again and now we gotta do overtime. Every day, at every hour, everywhere, it's pure chaos. I bend forward. There's just no escape. I bury my head in my hands. I feel so stuck all the time. Like there's no point in anything. Like I'm living to work and not working to live. Like I want to disappear for a whole week and not think about anything. Which is pretty much what I did. Gosh, what am I saying to a stranger? Sorry. Got a bit overwhelmed for a second. It's alright, Snowflake. I think it's good that you're letting it all out. Uh, all, all out. Blah, blah. He's being so sweet, I almost want to cry. But I feel embarrassed about being so vulnerable with a person I barely know. Call me weird for thinking this, but... I feel so right to talk to him. I'm not sure why you thought I was going to laugh, though. What I see is a very hard-working person who's clearly not being appreciated and needs to relax. Y yeah, exactly. And probably a little pampered, too. I think you were right in taking a week off. Hmm. In fact, you should have probably asked for more. What? Sorry? You should have taken a whole decade off, you know? Whole ten years. Thank you. Though I'm sure Crow noticed my voice breaking, he chose us not to say anything. Probably out of kindness. Why don't you tell me more about this holiday of yours? Where were we planning to go? Oh, right. Well, I actually wanted to ask you about it before. Is... Frost Peak Town too far away from here? Huh? Did you say Frost Peak Town? Y yeah, I was looking for places to visit that were good for relieving stress. Not beaches, mind you. Something to actually let my frustration out. So I kept searching and I found a bunch of articles saying how skiing was really good for all that. Then, let's just say I chose the place that was furthest away from home to feel like I was genuinely going on a trip. <laughs> a bit of a thrill seeker, aren't we? I mean... Not really, but I guess it needed a bit of excitement to take my mind off things. That's so. How curious. No, 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 not that type of seeking. I'm thrilling, sir. Wait, no. That smile should be illegal. I mean, it does. Why the hell do you have short teeth, bro? Care to explain? By the way, to answer your last question, Frostbeak Town is around this area. Really? Uh. Yes. I sense a butt coming. But it's a few hours away by driving, unfortunately. Oh. There is a bus that takes you there, though. And the bus stop isn't far from here. Then again, the snowstorm yesterday did quite a number on the roads. So, probably take a while until the snow is removed. They will most likely have to repair the damage, too. Uh. Do you know how much time it'll take until the bus resumes their usual route? Hmm. hmm. About a week, I'm assuming? There goes my holiday. Guess I'll have to stay in this area then. What about hotels? Are, are there any around here? Crow? Hotels? Hmm. hmm. I don't think so. Not many people come visit around these parts. They don't? Not during winter, at least. What does that mean? Unlike Frost Peak, this village doesn't have any real attractions, Percy. Not to mention, only about 11 people live here. Farmers and people with summer vacation houses, to be more precise. Well, and me. Wait, so this is a rural area? More so in the other seasons. It's mostly deserted during winter, since this village is not well suited to shelter cattle in such hard weather conditions. It's most likely the reason why this village is called Winter Hollow. Winter Hollow? 
Sounds kind of cool, but also a bit ominous. A bit similar to partial migration, don't you think? Yeah. Now that he mentions it, that must be also why I saw no one on the way here. I'm pretty sure Frost Peak must have at least one hotel in its town, but... What am I supposed to do then? You could stay with me, you know what I mean? We don't say anything for a while. This is probably the unluckiest break I've had in a while. Getting a flat and having no replacement for it, forgetting my gloves when going to such a cold place, getting caught in a snowstorm in a village that's pretty much deserted save for one person? For peep's sake! Why can't my luck be on my side for once? Crow was the first one to break the silence. Why don't you stay here for a few days? I mean, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Eh? Did I hear him right? <laughs> Why do you look so surprised? Yeah, literally, where else are you gonna go, Paradox? Considering there aren't many alternatives, I think it's a good idea, don't you think? I... I, I, I don't want to impose, you know. Are you sure? I don't want to impose. You're not. I wouldn't have offered you to stay otherwise. Then... Okay, I'll stay. Alrighty. Yay! His enthusiasm is so infectious that I find myself jumping for joy as well. Seems I have a roommate now. Or he has a roommate now. Why why me? It's not my roommate. Thank you, Crow. I mean it. We're going to have so much fun you'll never want to leave. Yeah, yep, that's what they all say. <laughs> Stop teasing me like that. I might just believe you. You should. You should believe him, Paradox. I'll go wash the dishes. Oh, you don't have to. Uh, I flashed my palm at him before he finishes the sentence. Stop it! No, you've already let me stay in your home for a whole week. The least I can do is help you with the dishes and a few other things. Just name it and I'll do it. Uh, all right. Good, I'll be right back. <laughs> I reach a dirty mug's plate and teapot inside the tray and head back to the kitchen. See ya later, alligator. He kind of looks like an alligator, actually. I wasn't joking before, Snowflake. Yeah, I sort of figured, Jewel. Day two. Oh. Yeah, right in my ears. After waking up to one of the most... After waking up to the best night's sleeps I've ever had, I make sure to clean myself up in the bathroom. Oh gosh, this water's so loud. Thank goodness. Phew. Thank gosh, Crow has so many spare toothbrushes. Yeah, the question is, Paradox, why does he have so many spare toothbrushes? I guess it makes sense that you need to supply yourself with a whole bunch of stuff if you live in the woods. Can't really make a quick trip to the grocery store, can you? I didn't see a car outside the cabin, though. So, maybe he gets everything delivered? The farmers probably sell him some stuff, too. Eh, who knows. Once I'm presentable enough, I make my way to the kitchen. I'm greeted with the smell of rice cooking on a stove. And the sound of Crow's masterful skills of cutting vegetables at a ridiculous speed. Yeah, what the hell is that? He's just like beating the board. <laughs> Better not call out to him just yet or he might cut himself by accident. The moment I moved ahead to the other room though, Crow notices me and stops dead in his tracks. Oh! He leaves the kitchen on the counter. Bro got rice cooking in the kitchen and approaches me. Good morning, Paradox. I was about to go wake you up. Morning. Somehow this feels a little bit like deja vu. <laughs> feels a little like deja vu, don't you think? That's what I just said! You read minds, you sneaky little devil. Aww. We spoke to each other like this yesterday, too. I was actually thinking the same thing. <laughs> I wonder if this will become something of a daily ritual for us? Ah, lunch should be ready in a little bit, by the way. Wait, lunch? I know I went to sleep earlier than usual, but still, did the bath relax me that much? Jeez, I slept like a log. Hmm. Maybe it's the effect of the... Oh my gosh, please, don't say it. Log cabin? <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, log cabin. Oh my gosh, I'm so slow on these joke uptakes. Well, you laughed, didn't you? This cheeky buster. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's a, it's a 7 out of 10, to be honest. But honestly speaking, you were under a lot of stress yesterday. It's no wonder you slept so much. If anything, isn't it a good thing? I imagine your job doesn't let you rest very well. You're not wrong there. 
Anyway, do you need help with the food? Don't worry about it. It's almost done. But you can help me by setting up the table in the living room, if you want. Sure, I'll go ahead and do that then. <laughs> Thank you. See ya, Crow. Oh, what a little housewife. One set table later, I wait for Crow at the couch right in front of the window. But not for long. The newly arranged bookshelves in the corner of the room catches my eye once again. All of them are hardcovers. All of them have spines with no titles. Books that look a bit worn out, but not to the point where you can't say they're old. Just that they were read several times. Not gonna lie, I'm really curious about his collection. What does Crow read? Before I can change my mind and chicken out, I grab the reddish book from one of the shelves. Let's see. Yes, yes, what are you hiding? Are you secretly a Harry Potter fan? You better not be. Winter Ecology. Living in the cold. Well, <laughs> that's fitting, all right. We have all heard about archaeology at least once. How it studies the interrelationships between living things and their environment. How it strives to explain the behavior of sordid species around the world. It is vast. It is ever-changing. But how much does it truly change in the realm of winter? Recent discoveries have shown the incredible strategies that living things have implemented in order to pull through the cold climates. This, in turn, reinforces the fact that we are all connected. All connected? It begs the question. How much is truly necessary to survive? Oh, that's creepy ah! book. The sound of Crow's footsteps distract me from going any further. Oh, come on, I was really getting into that. I, I want to keep the book, though. I'm not going to put it back. It's just a book. It's no big deal if I want to read it, right? Besides, he did say I could make myself at home, so... Oh, gosh, I, I didn't take it. I, I, I'm so sorry for touching your book. Thank you for waiting, Snufflet. <laughs> Chris, there's the book in my hands. That's... Uh... Did that one in particular catch your eye? Yeah? Just in case, I inspect the hardcover from all sides. Is there anything I'm missing? Sorry, was this off limits? No, not at all. It's just, well, I just thought it seemed interesting. Crow? Thank you. Wait a minute, did you write this? Uh. It, it's not quite finished yet. You've actually grabbed the one that's in work in progress. <laughs> Aw, Crow, I think your writing's really nice, you know? You can make like a really good thriller author or I guess an autobiography, uh. that too. Oh! It's kind of cute seeing him embarrassed. I was hoping to keep working on it this week. That's amazing, Crow! I'm sure you'll do great! <laughs> Th thank you. By the way, if you're interested, I can show you some of my favorites later. Many of these books have taught me a lot of what I know today. There have been some especially brilliant scientists throughout history. Sure, that'll be nice. I have to ask though, how can you tell all these apart? There's nothing written on their spines or even their front. Mm. Oh, each book has a number and symbol assigned to it, depending on the topic. I like to keep them organized in this matter, since the text textless hardcovers look more aesthetic and neat. Well, you're certainly dedicated, that's for sure! <laughs> Never thought of it that way, but I guess you have a point. I doubt I'd do it with my own bookshelves, though. Heck no, I never find anything! So I annoying to keep track of what's what. Let's eat, shall we? Crow places our lunch on top of the placemats that I previously set on the wooden table. Don't mind if I do! Thank you! Oh, it looks delicious! I love curry rice. What is that? Is that celery? Asparagus? What am I looking at? You do? I'm glad. I don't think that's curry. I think it's just rice. I'll be sure to remember that. Wasting no more time and before I end up salivating. Salivating. Wasting no more time and before I end up salivating all over my clothes, I woof down the meal with gusto. Mm, mm, mm. Every flavor is so rich. The sautéed veggies, the savory and spicy curry that combines with the fluffiness of the rice. Wow. It's impossible to keep a smile off my face. I love food. Oh my gosh, me too. It is the stuff of this world, I'm telling you. That was delicious. <laughs> Happy success then. Hell yeah, boy! Oh. Oh wow, I was like, what, is it going all evil on me? No, no, it's just becoming nighttime, don't worry about it. Before we know it, it's already evening. We spent most of the day talking about various topics. I have to say that I'm getting more and more interested in Crow's research. Do you think I could help you with it? Like, when you go outside and observe nature or forage for stuff? Huh? You, 
You'd like to accompany me? Are you kidding? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Dude, we could become like scientist partners. That's amazing. Sure, lots of people go skiing, but not everyone can say they've been studying winter ecology with a bona fide scientist. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind. It'll be nice to finally have some company. And there are things books can teach. You have to see them for yourself. Hmm. But we'll have to go tomorrow morning. Winter days are much shorter after all. The sky's already turning dark. Yeah, that's totally fine. I wouldn't want to be alone in the dark either way, especially given how I got caught in the snowstorm nearly two days ago. It's getting a bit chilly. Should we make some tea? Oh my gosh, is it chaga tea? Yeah, but let me wash the dishes first. Da -de -da, da -de -da. With Crow right by my side, I pick up the plates and take them to the sink. Uh. But uh, it still makes me a bit queasy making you wash the dishes. You're a guest. Come on, it's no big deal. Have you never divided household chores with anyone? Not really. I've managed on my own for most of my life. Aw, oh, you're a little baby orphan? No! Crow, don't be like that. I'm super sensitive to people who have sad backstories. I know this experience is probably not the same as mine. I know it, and yet... I can't help but feel like I can I can relate. Do you... ever... feel lonely? Lonely? Not anymore. <laughs> Got <it! laughs> Oh, shoot! Oh, my plate! I quickly bent down to grab the broken pieces. Ah! But unintentionally, I knew I was gonna cut my freaking finger. I was like, watch her cut herself. But unintentionally, cut a bunch of my fingers in my haste. A bunch of my finger? Dude, that's like my whole hand. Watch it, dang it. Ah, oh, shoot. They'd just gotten healed from the frostbite too. Paradox. Sorry, Crow, I broke your- I don't care about the stupid plate. Instead of waiting for an answer, Crow grabs my wrist and puts my hand into the faucet. It's still bleeding. Oh wow, how deep is that? He's panicking! With vigor and precision, he lathers my hands with green herbal soap until there are no signs of red. It seems to calm him down, at least a little, since there's no longer grating his teeth. But he doesn't let go of my hand. Um, Crow? I, I think I'm alright now. You, you can let go. No, not yet. I don't dare interrupt him again, so I stare at him while he gets a hold of the first aid kit and takes out a small round container. Don't worry, it won't sting. He opens the lid, draws a finger in the creamy ointment and rubs it over my wound. Wound? Wounds? Wait, huh? how many cuts did I get? It has a minty fragrance. Ooh, minty. Finally, he covers it with gauze. <sighs> Damn, ah! you give me a heart attack, woman. Are you always this clumsy? Shh. Honestly, be more careful, won't you? It wasn't that big of a deal. I, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. I'll be more careful. I'm sorry, don't look at me like that. I got stage fright. <laughs> That's a good bean. Oh, I'm a bean now? Oh, I got degraded, dude. I was a snowflake once upon a time. I don't think I should tell him that I got hurt because he caught me off guard in the first place. Th thanks, Crow. I, uh, we were about to have some tea, yeah? I'll make us some tea. All right. Great. See you later. <laughs> uh oh. Nothing will come between us. Yeah, stupid piece of glass. <laughs> the glass was like, save yourself. I shall kill you fast. Nothing. No person. No animal. Not even a pesky wound. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. To be continued? What do you mean to be continued? It just got good! Aw oh, man, it was still getting so good! The drama was finally building up, you know? Ugh, they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't stay with a... He's actually, he hasn't actually done anything bad. He hasn't even like drugged the food. But then again, he doesn't have to. I'm already stuck in his cabin. Like, what else do you have to do? I don't know. I'm not sure. Crow doesn't answer right away. Instead, he lets out a deep sigh and avoids looking at me, as if he was disappointed. He crosses his arms. He fidgets with his ponytail. He bites his lip. 
Once he's satisfied, he makes eye contact once again. You're not sure? Then what are you sure about? What do you intend to do? What could you possibly do in this kind of situation other than what I just suggested? Because I can assure you, there aren't many other options. Unless freezing to death is your plan, which, by the way, almost happened yesterday. Uh, wow. Um, why is he so hostile all of a sudden? Oh my gosh, dude, can you chill the hell out? I just said I wasn't sure, not that I wouldn't stay. I, I'm sorry, okay? I just like to keep my options open. And, you know, not feeling like I'm being forced into something I don't want to do. Uh-oh. No, no. You're right. I acted out of line. It's just... I really wanted you to stay. As I told you before, not many people come around these parts. And I can get a bit lonely sometimes. Gosh. I'm so dumb. I acted like an immature... <laughs> I'll stay. Huh? What? I'll stay! Uh. Now you're just saying that. I mean it. I, I'll really stay. Really? Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. Crow laughs. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, wow. That freaked me out for two seconds. Never mind. I seem to have found his crazy switch. It's kind of cute, though. It's like, when, it's like when my separation anxiety kicks in. That was really good. I'm really excited for the full game. That's like, invite me in. Like, nothing really bad happened. And I'm like, super hyped up for the demo because... Honestly, I would join him in crime. Like, it's not even it's not even crime. I don't even know what he's bad at. He's just he's just really passionate about biology and he's lonely. We all get like that. It's fine. If you guys want to see the Psycho Dates playlist, you can click on the playlist on the screen now. Bye!